Hey guys, and today on the new comics we're going to be talking about is Mother Panic number 5 by DC Young Animal. If you don't know what DC Young Animal is, it's DC decided to do a new thing to put their mature characters who are in the DC Universe, at least some of them, like um, Hellblaze and stuff might be considered mature, but that is not, and it's just in the regular DC Universe. But doing the stuff like Mother, we have Mother Panic, Doom Patrol, Shard the Changing Girl, Cape Cod, and that's the Cybernetic Guy, and Forge... The Bug, the Adventure of Forger, or the all series, or all series out right now. Bug, the Adventure of Forger is the only one that's the main series. But we're going to jump into issue 5 of Mother Panic, one of the books I'm surprised I like it as much as I do. Because it wasn't the book I was, if it was one of the ones where was coming out, I'm like, that's oh, the original character, I don't know anything about it. I'm just going to, eh, whatever. This book is not something I'm like, eh, I'm kind of like, eh, what's it? And then I actually got it, the first two issues, and read them. I'm like, yeah, I need to continue getting this book. For Hollywood League, because it is one of the best books out. So we're going to jump into it. This is, um, uh, new, the only people I know who are working on this book is, I know, um, Gray Ward creates, he runs the DC Young Animal thing, but he also helped, uh, I think it has it on here. Uh, where is it? Uh, Mother Panic was created. Gray Ward helped create Mother Panic with the other people who are working on it. And, yeah, and also, there's another person I know who works on this, who I know of specifically. Like, I only mention all this if I know him and stuff, but this is, this is Broken Things Part 2. Uh, this is really awesome. I just need to check something, because that looks very much... Nope, okay. Uh, Broken Things Part 2, I was checking the artist, because the artist and the writer seem to... I thought they, they look somewhat familiar. Nothing, I thought they were the same for the... First comic, the main comic, and the bonus comics that did the same for some reason. I don't know why, but um, this is Broken Thing Fuck 2, and we get to see what happens with um, the wannabe, uh, what's her name? Wannabe uh, character, the wannabe uh, person who looks like um, Brother Panic, the main character, who looks like her, and who is going around dressing, basically looks like her, like, so face looks exactly the same, they almost look like twins, because uh, the intro. Institute that she and Mother Panic go in. She got her, I guess, face got changed or something. It looks like her, because I guess Mother Panic uh, was like one of the best students. And I'm using her superhero name or the name of the book, because I'm, I'm assuming that's what her superhero name is. I'm not sure. I don't know if they just gave her, like, that's specifically her superhero name, but I don't know what I'm going to call her right now. And instead of getting all of saying and leave, and then we move on to in the, um, in the hideout, she's getting like a shot and stuff making sure she is okay and I feel like um I also having a problem like if I can't remember her name I hate when I can't remember names that really pisses me off I can't remember a name for a house but okay maybe she gets the uh medicine puts it in her and she will she gets all better and then she goes into it goes into talking to her mother, who has in this like garden area that she has, and you scare them off Violet. So it's, I guess her name's Violet. Vi- oh, Violet. 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 Yeah, I think it might be. I'll, I'll see if it changes about the book, because I don't remember this person's name. He's a new character. I'm not, it's not like we can somebody like everybody knows. So I don't, I'm just getting into this. And then I'm talking. I'm having just a discussion about stuff. And then we see a mom after she leaves. These rat comes. These rat come in, and uh, I believe we were discussing. Now I believe we were discussing dessert. So I'm talking about something. There's a secret going on. But then we see Mother Panic back with the uh, oh, Violet back with the other guy. I want to say guy, but is it a guy? Yeah, it might. It looks like it might be a guy actually. Not. I can't tell if it's a guy or a girl. Um. Oh, let me go back and check the first page of the show. It's being. Yeah, it looks like it's a guy who got turned to a girl to to, to look like Violet, so it's basically turned to kind of like to like the face of a girl. But yeah, and then he like punches the wall and stuff and says like, uh, uh kind of like saying, no, I'm not going to help you. Like, I was going to help you, but no. And then he gets into um, some skimpy attire and goes to like a club because he's a very, uh, he's a famous person. So he's like a well up people. Like, people know who he is. Like, kind of like Bruce Wayne. Like, people know who Bruce Wayne is or Tony Stark. People know who this is. So she has a also identity, and she has like a when she's out and about, these people know who she is. They don't know the superhero behind her, but they know who she is. As he goes out to a club and parties, and we see her, her drinks and stuff, and 
makes out with a girl. So maybe she's lesbian. I'm not sure. It wouldn't be surprising. So because yeah, that wouldn't be surprising. Another lesbian superhero. Because bad woman's also a lesbian. So it wouldn't be surprised. But maybe she's getting information. I don't know. Because they're fighting, and then we go back to seeing the other guy. Um, it's hard when it comes to the flashback, and I'm always gonna assume this guy who looks like Violet. But it's hard to tell if it's that or if it's actually Violet. Violet's backstory, because now since both of them look exactly the same, it's kind of hard to define anyone. But it's one of the backstories and something like them in the club fighting somebody and stuff. It's really cool to so see how they do the backstory and stuff. Like you get a page and it shows some of the backstory. You kind of get throughout the book, like every issue, you get little pieces of it, and then you eventually get it all. So that's cool. A good way to do it. Let me see. Um, the other person who looks like Violet, the guy looks like Violet, uh, has a gun, and if and, and the, the, you see a flashback that reminds him of her shooting her dad for some really, um, I want to say off, like, I, I want, I'm pretty sure it was some off, from what we, the book was saying, it was, it was kind of inferring this, uh, this other guy was gonna do some things to her, and he was a kid, a young kid at the age, and stuff, and it's just stuff I don't really want to get into in this because I already probably talked about it, but some really stuff that I'm like, yeah, no, that's not okay stuff. But who knows? It could have been not actually what we think it is, and it could be something else. Who knows? But it's probably what we think it is, and it's really bad. But they shows her with the gun. She, you see her a, a shooting somebody, and she looks through the scope, and it's a little boy. And what's cool is we see he has like a little Batman plus a little flash thing on this thing. And an Etric in the Demon Plus. You, who made that? Who was like, that? that's a million dollar idea. Dem- Etric in the Demon. Make him a plus. We're going to make millions off this idea. Because he in the DC Universe, he, I wouldn't say he's not a hero, but he's not really technically a, he's like dead to you. Like, a character like Harley Quinn maybe, who's like kind of like, eh, who's, yes, he's a hero. And yes, he isn't. He's one of the people like dead early Deadpool and it's like, yeah, he's a good guy, but it's also bad it's like I don't know, he's kinda of both. Or oh, Deathstroke character, yeah, sometimes Deathstroke is on both sides. I've seen him do good and bad. But we see a uh, look at the and it's like, No, I'm not gonna do this and then there's like then I'll do it and then they get into a fight and he's like, No, we're not gonna do this. It stops here and it's a big page so he's break like bending the gun, so it's like because he has some, you know, powers. I don't know what exactly your powers are. If he just has a suit that does all the stuff. Because he has, like, the kind of, like, kind of big gloves on. So I could assume they might have strength or something. So he can do something like that. And then see, gives him the gun that doesn't work. And see, leaves. And then we see some more of her. Of Yeah, this one's her, I'm going to say. Because it shows her. Because it was obviously, I can also go and see, and they have these things about to, like, cut into her and do some stuff into Violet. Because Violet has some sketchy past at this place, uh, the Gata House, I think is what it's called. Uh, it's not a question, it's a very, not a good place, not a good place. Um, very bad place. And then we see, um, we're talking to them all again with a piece of cake and stuff. Um, and all this stuff, like, hey, yeah. Uh, getting a piece of cake and if them having like a eh, it's, yeah, it's time to go to bed good night stuff like that and then we see outside this fat guy who is controlling the rats who's talking to the rats and the guy so uh, he's like hey there you are hello i thought you and your friends might like some cake so he's exactly talking to the rat and like kind of i think sympathizing with him like yeah this guy seems to be a nobody and it's kind of like oh yeah i'm gonna be nice this guy is actually not a bad guy like, kind of nice i'm gonna be nice to her. Her mom's not completely. Not that her mom seems a bit crazy, but I don't think she. I think I think she's actually. I mean, when you're, she's an old person, so obviously her mind can be a little uh, finicky, like any old people, are, like most old people are, or at least some old people. And then switch it to continue there. But we're not over because we have Gotham Radio is a bonus comic that's in each issue of. When the panic, because uh, most of these uh, DC animals have something bonus stuff at the end, either being a comic or something or just bonus stuff. If it's a comic, usually it's only three pages, so I'm not complaining. Um, three, this is actually probably my favorite out of all the bonus comics that have been done so far. 
because it's more a genuine each issue. Every issue has had it so far. It's like a continuing, it's a continuing story that each issue is gives you gives you more information. It's a continuing story, and I like that. So it feels like we're getting two stories, and it's also in it's called Gotham Radio, so it's in Gotham. And if you don't know, Mother Panic is in Gotham, so that's pretty cool. So now, um, yeah, we've been talking about this for nine minutes. I want to try to get through this really quickly. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, this one is scene five. What's lives beyond these eaves? I think what's called. And she's talking to this blind, like homeless person. And she goes and takes out to lunch because I think he has some information. I give the dog some bacon. And they talk about some stuff. It's not much. But by the end of it, you see some stuff maybe about his past or one of the other guys. And by the end, he takes off the glasses. You see, he doesn't have eyes. It's just like skin. It's like over where his eyes is. So he's like, his whole face looks kind of like blank. It makes me think of the question, but also since you can see his mouth move and stuff, it's kind of weird. Because it would cover his mouth too if it's a question. But just saying, it could be. I'm not sure, because I, I know he's like a detective or something, so that could make sense. And then it's to be continued. Um, yeah, I think I said, I've seen with my own eyes, and it's nothing, and you don't see any eyes. But that's it for Mother Panic, issue number five at DCM. I've really great, I've really been enjoying the series. Um, I try to make these videos around, I don't quite anymore. Ten, when it gets to 10 other minutes, I feel like, I'm like if I see the timer has been long, I need to start... Hurrying it up and getting to the points and kind of hurry this thing up. I don't want this to be too long. So it's already running a minute, so I need to hurry up. So thank you guys for watching this video. You guys can like and favorite this video, share it to your favorite social media platforms, and you can also check out my social media sites: Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that, and other ones will be in the description box below this video. You guys can. Always check out my main channel, Super Crazy Grammar, where I do other videos like parodies, skits, music-related stuff, animation. And you can always subscribe to the channel, Epic Epic Game, for new gaming and video game-related content, sometimes anime movies. And you can always stay epic, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.